how to clear or delete WinSCP cache or how to clean up WinSCP application data. All right, guys, as you can see, I have my browser window open here and I'm on my server dashboard for a cloud hosting provider called DigitalOcean. Now, before I started this video, I spun up a fresh new server. It's called Test Server, and this is the IP address. Before I show you how to clear the host key cache of your server, I'm first going to need to cache it. So the very first thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to log into my server for the very first time using the WinSCP client via the SFTP file protocol. To do this, I'm just going to copy the IP address of my server here by simply left-clicking on the word copy. I'm going to minimize my browser and I'm going to open up WinSCP. So I'm just going to double click on the shortcut here on my desktop. Once WinSCP has opened, choose a file protocol. As you can see, it's currently on SFTP, which is what I want. Paste in the host name, which is the IP address of your server. Pick a port. I'm going to leave it as 22. Enter the username of your server, in my case it's root, and enter your password, which I'm going to do now, and then left click on login. And as you can see guys, when you first log into your server using WinSCP, you're greeted with this warning message from WinSCP, which says, continue connecting to an unknown server and add its host key to a cache. Now, of course, guys, this isn't an unknown server because I'm the one that spun it up and I know exactly what I'm connecting to. And underneath WinSCP says, the server's host key was not found in the cache. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. Now, that's what the purpose of adding your server's host key to the cache is so you know exactly what it is when you connect to it. You have a couple of options here at the very bottom. You can press yes to cache your server or no to not cache it. If you press no, you'll be greeted with this warning message every time you connect to your server using WinSCP. For this video guide, I'm going to need to cache my server. So all I'm going to do is simply left click on yes, and you'll now be connected to your server. Great. So now our server is cached in WinSCP. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is to terminate the connection by pressing the X here and then left clicking on yes here. And now if we try to connect to our server once again, using WinSCP via the SFTP file protocol, you'll notice that we will not be greeted with this message. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is double click on the WinSCP shortcut and enter the login details for our server once again. So I'm just going to put in the IP address of my server into the host name, leave port 22 as default. The username is going to be root and my password, I'm just going to paste that in. Great, I've entered all my login details now, guys. So all I'm going to do now is left click on login and we should log in straight to our server without that warning message when we first connected to our server. And indeed, that's exactly what happened, guys. Great, I'm now going to terminate the connection once again by left clicking on the X and left clicking on yes once again. Great, now that brings us to the main part of this video and that is clearing the cache. To do this, the first thing you need to do is open up WinSCP. So I'm going to double click on the shortcut here on my desktop to open it. Next, navigate to the bottom left hand corner here of the login session window and left click on the arrow next to tools. Once you've done that guys, you'll be greeted with a drop down menu. Look for where it says clean up and left click on clean up. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with the clean up application data window. And underneath WinSCP says following list contains all application data possibly stored on your computer. Check those you want to remove. If another instance of the application is running, please close it before cleaning data. Notice opening session and or next execution of application will recreate some data. And underneath, there's a table which lists all the application data that you can clean up in WinSCP. At the very top here, you have the general configuration data. Underneath that, you have caches. And at the very bottom, you have random seed file data. Of course, guys, for this video, we're solely focusing on caches. And this is the application data that we want to clean up. To clean up WinSCP's caches, simply left click on the box here to check mark and select caches. And once you've done that guys, all you need to do is left click on OK to clean up that specific application data. In our case, it was caches. Great, our cache is now cleared. And if we now connect to our server for the third time, it will be similar to connecting to your server for the very first time. So we'll get that warning message, which says you are connecting to an unknown server. And if you want to add its host key to a cache. So I'm just going to log into my server for the third time here, just to show you that that truly is the case. So all I'm going to do is enter the IP address of my server in here 
here, leave the port again as 22, the username is root, and the password, I'm simply going to paste that in again to save me having to type it out. Once you've entered your login details for your server, simply left click on login. Great guys, and as you can see, we are indeed greeted with the warning message from WinSCP, which again says, continue connecting to an unknown server and add its host key to a cache. Again, you have the option to select yes to cache it or no to not cache it. For this video guys, I'm going to be going with yes. As I do not like to be greeted with this warning message, every time I log into my server. And as you can see guys, we are now logged into our server. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to clear or delete WinSCP cache, or how to clean up WinSCP application data. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.